Tony is a 10 year old tiger and for the past 10 years he's been exploited 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Tony is used as a gimmick, he's a roadside attraction at the tiger truck stop in Louisiana. This means that Tony has had a decade of smoke, fumes, noise and harassment confined in his concrete cell. The truck stop has exhibited, bred and sold tigers for over 20 years. They even proudly display a sign stating that 13 tigers have been born at the truck stop and yet 10 have only survived. Where are these tigers now? They've been allowed to do all this despite repeated violations with the USDA for non-compliance with animal care standards. Despite Big Cat Rescue offering to provide a home for Tony, complete with natural surroundings, vegetation, a running pool, excellent diet, vet care and regular enrichment, not to mention the quiet surroundings and tiger neighbours. Tony's owner refused to do what was right, and so the debate headed to the courtroom. We often get the question, why can't we buy Tony? Firstly, it's illegal to buy or sell a tiger across state lines, and secondly, doing this would just fuel the trade in privately owned exotic cats. After a long battle in court, Big Cat Rescue and animal advocates were left disillusioned when the Iberville Parish amended their ordinance prohibiting ownership of exotic animals like tigers, allowing Tony to be kept at the truck stop in March 2009. There's something obviously wrong when laws are broken and changed to cater for one individual whose greed, ignorance and cruelty were more important to the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries than the welfare of Tony. And so the animal cruelty has continued in plain view of thousands of people. Tony has remained in the grey industrial world of the Tiger Truck Stop, where they also display a stuffed four-year-old white tiger over the buffet table. Now that's classy. And what happened to this tiger? <coughs> Tigers living in captivity can live well over 20 years with the proper care BCR would provide. Unfortunately, Tony's future is one filled with fumes, noise and abuse in his so-called home. But the fight isn't over yet. The permit Tony's owner was issued is an annual one and is up for renewal in December 2010. The more people who know about Tony's plight, the more opposition Tony's owner will face and the more pressure will then be put on the government agency which decides the fate of Tony. We can help by refusing to stop, shop or eat at the Tiger Truck Stop. That exploits a tiger to earn your money. Please visit freetony.com where you'll find all the information you need to decide what is right for Tony and the ways you can help give him a voice.